Welcome to a quick broadcast from Jerusalem's Gate. We have some disturbing news. Uh, as I foreseen, uh, the Taliban getting stronger over the years uh, and the amount of attacks and the uh, destruction of those attacks. Uh, this is coming out of NHK World. Taliban car bomb kills 43 Afghan soldiers. Let's read some of the article. Uh, Taliban insurgents have attacked a military facility in southern Afghanistan, killing at least 43 soldiers. The Afghan Defense Ministry says that members of the militant group drove two vehicles loaded with explosives into a military camp in Kandahar province early on Thursday. The, attacker, the attackers exchanged gunfire with security forces before they were killed. The Taliban claim responsibility for the incident. A spokesperson of the defense ministry said that the assailants apparently used vehicles belonging to the Afghan military. The automobiles were taken during a previous fight between the Taliban and the military. The deadly attack followed two separate suicide bombings targeting a police facility and an administrative office on Tuesday. And that assault, more than 60 people, including police officers and citizens, were killed. Observers say that the Taliban insurgents are intensifying their offenses before winter arrives in the mountainous regions where they are based during the winter snow hampers their activities. I tell you, uh, a few years back when I was uh, coming back from uh, Israel, a trip to Israel, I happened to sit next to a college professor, an Israeli college professor. And that Israeli college professor told me that when one group uh, diminishes, there'll be another group that will uh, take its place. Uh, and I tell you, you're, uh, you're seeing Taliban uh, grow. They're well-funded. Uh, they're growing in their attacks and the destruction of their attacks. Uh, let's go ahead and watch this quick video real quick. The Afghan Defense Ministry told NHK that two cars loaded with explosives rammed into a military camp in Kandahar province and exploded. There were about 60 soldiers in the camp at the time. Ten insurgents were killed in the following gun battle with security forces which rushed to the scene after the attack. On Tuesday, the Taliban attacked two facilities, including a police building, killing more than 60 people. Analysts say the Taliban may be going on the offensive before the winter shows begin. Now, the Taliban, once again, the Taliban is a well-funded organization. Let's not forget that uh, not too long ago when uh, uh, at the Cabal airport, uh, Mattis visited, when he visited Afghanistan, uh, it, was, uh, 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 it was not known what time, it wasn't made public what time he would arrive at the airport at Afghanistan. It was a very uh, secret uh, uh, plan that he fly, at what time he flew in. And somehow the uh, Taliban got word of it and uh, launch some missiles. This is coming out of uh, military.com. Uh, a, a cabal airport attack during Mattis' visit to Afghanistan. And this this happened uh, September 27th. Uh, and I believe uh, like 60 rockets were fired at the airport, if memory serves me correctly. Rocket propelled grenades and rockets uh, were uh, sent uh, to the airport that tried to attack uh, Mattis, uh, our defense secretary, Jim Mattis. Uh, but, uh, you know, the uh, it's it's going to continue uh, just because ISIS and ISIL has been driven uh, out of all their uh, major holdings, uh, cities, uh, doesn't mean that uh, other groups aren't going to take its place or other groups aren't going to grow in power. I foresee Taliban growing in power. And uh, again, not to sound redundant, they're well, well funded. And uh, I, th I foresee uh, possibly the Taliban being a thorn in our side. And uh, another situation we're going to have to uh, tackle uh, in the Middle East. Uh, but with that said, I wanted to give this a uh, quick uh, broadcast. You're watching and listening to Jerusalem's Gate. 
Uh, we wait for the return of Yeshua, and may God protect you all. Amen.